Hi. Today we're talking about kinetic friction and the coefficient of kinetic friction. So for this problem, we've got a 10 kilogram block, okay? And it is raised three meters high. Now this block is going to slide down this little ramp and we're assuming that the ramp and everything is frictionless with the exception of this friction surface which is six meters long. So this block, so this block's going to slide down, it's going to go through this little rough patch for six meters, it, it's then going to go into this spring which is going to compress and then it's going to release the block back again. Now when the block compresses it's going to compress for 0.3 meters so the first question is, what is the coefficient of kinetic friction for this little rough patch? The second question is, after the block passes through this patch, compresses with the string, spring, and then is released, does it make it through this rough patch? And if so, how high does the block go back up? So first we're going to have to figure out what the gravitational potential energy of this block is. So let's go here. The gravitational potential energy is going to be your 10 kilogram block times gravity, which is 9.81 meters per second squared, times the height. And so it's three meters up, so three meters. And that's going to give you 294.3 joules. Okay, so we know that the potential energy at this point is 294.3 joules. However, we know that when it goes through this little rough patch, uh, the kinetic friction is going to is going to take away some of that energy. Okay, it's going to be lost here in the kinetic friction. Okay, so the part we do know is that the block goes through it. It makes it through at least initially the first time through this rough patch, and by the time it gets to the spring, it has enough energy left to compress 0.3 meters. So what we should figure out is what was lost. And so we've got to figure out the energy required to compress this spring 0.3 meters. So the elastic, elastic potential energy when it is fully compressed is going to be the equation 1 half times kx squared. So you're going to take 0.5 times the spring constant, which is up here, 2250 newton meters, 2250 times the x, which is, is what it compresses to, which is 0.3 meters, 0.3 meters squared. Okay, and when you do that, you're going to be left with 101.25 joules. Okay, so the block slides through. Now up here it started with 294.3 joules. After it slides through this little rough patch and compresses this, uh, this little spring, it's only left with 101.25. So this kinetic friction, or this path right here, ate up a lot of our of our energy. So let's figure out how much. So we take the 294.3, which is what our first potential was, minus what we have now, which is 101.25, and that's going to give us 193.05 joules. So we know that kinetic friction of this path 
is 193.05. Now, what we need to figure out is the coefficient of kinetic friction for this little rough patch. And for that, you just take the kinetic friction divided by the normal force, which is going to be 6 meters, 6 meters times the mass of the block times gravity. Okay, so when you do that, you're going to get 0.328, which is going to be your sub uk or your coefficient of kinetic friction. So just remember that kinetic friction over your normal force is going to give you uh, your coefficient of kinetic friction or sub mu k. So now we know that that sub mu k over here is equal to 0.328. Okay. So it's 0.328. All right. Now, what we need to figure out is, is it going to make it through the rough patch? And to do that, it's pretty simple. If we started with 294.3 joules of potential energy uh, starting, it went through the rough patch, and by the time that it went through that, we were left with 101.25. That means that it took 193.05 joules of kinetic friction. However, we only have 101.25 joules left. So the answer is no. It will not make it make it through the rough patch again.